Hi fam, welcome to yet another Fufu Vena Reads vlog. So, it's mid month, March, and the TBR that I showed you guys was a big fat lie. As a result, I doubt I'm gonna do a TBR for April because for some reason, excuse my nails, and I, why am I showing them? So I was on holiday recently, and let me not show you the disaster, but I did the set of nails on myself. And I've been back and cleaning the house and doing laundry and the nail set decided to tell me the nail set well Iana you're making a noise and the nail set decided to tell me that this was an ambitious length for the kind of person that I am doing what I do but now they all broken so don't worry about that I'll fix them this weekend I did say it is Saturday I wanted to so I did say it's Saturday. I wanted to start this vlog yesterday. I wanted to start this vlog yesterday. So, um, as it turns out, the first half of the month is not always... Okay, as it turns out, I struggle to read in the first half of the month for whatever reason, but then I'm sick and tired of that. So this weekend and the following weekend, I am going to pull a marathon reading session thing, whatever you want to call it. So I am currently reading Dust. I have no idea if I'll finish it today or tomorrow by midday, but I would love to. I am not even halfway. I don't want to lie to you guys. I am on page 74. We are discussing the book with the Azania Book Club um, tomorrow afternoon. I am... Sorry, the book is 365 pages long and I'm on page 74, like I say to you guys. So I'm not even halfway through, but this is what I'm going to dedicate the rest of the day and the rest of today and tomorrow to. I am off on Monday, which gives me more time to read. But right now by my bedside, I've got dust and I've got red ink, which I had hoped to finish last month next to my desk. I'm like 12 pages in. So I'd really like to... Um, finish those two books at least i can't say today because of the nature of the writing of this specific book but i'm going to push um yeah it's just one of those things just one of those things and because i was cleaning laundry taking the car to the wash getting a few items today um unpacking etc i am um, exhausted so i do not want to lie to myself about how this reading day will pan out but we will push i did read a little bit of dust in the morning and on our way back um yesterday okay, so i am currently going to snack on some crisps i have these simba chips cheddar creamy cheddar flavor my sister and cousin were trying out this Biltong, Chili Biltong flavor. We all agreed that we do not like it, but there are still some left. So I'll see how I feel after I finish that, um, what's left of this, if I want another packet. So it's quite hot and I don't know um, what got into me, but I poured myself some red wine. And then I also got some sparkling water by my bedside and i'm not gonna waste any more time the kids are playing outside i'm gonna get right into the reading
Okay guys, just to check in, I'm on page 116 of this book right now and it's quite late in the evening or well, night time I guess because it is almost 9 o'clock and I did have to cook and do other motherly duties and yeah, so I don't know if I'll be done on time for tomorrow's review but if I'm like an hour away from the finish, I'll just ask for an extension for an hour. I'll see, but I'm going to try my best. If I'm not, I'm not. It's one of those things because I did get this copy quite late. But I'll push to finish. And I thought I'd update you. I am ending off my day now, but I will read some more before I go to bed. So hopefully I'll get to the halfway mark. But check in tomorrow. Hi guys, just a little update on the reading. Uh, hardly did any reading today my day got messed up by load shedding like i said we got back on friday so i'm just trying to make sure that things are aligned in the house so that i can relax into my reading and not read um with things at the back of my head because that's the biggest distraction so the discussion for dust is happening today at five o'clock it's nearly five but we are load shedding right now again for the second time today so um yeah it's 30 minutes to five i won't be making that discussion i did send my whatever because the i think the rest of the members got their books at the beginning of february most of them i'm probably one of the last people to get my book and i got mine towards the end or well, at the end of february the last friday of feb and um, then I had to travel last week and so it is what it is I hate missing a book club discussions but it is what it is and this is not the kind of book that you can gulp out and think you'll make it on time so I did read a bit in the morning I am currently on page 133 I still plan on finishing the book um, it is gonna be my main read until I'm done I'm hoping to finish tomorrow like I said I'm off tomorrow so I think by tomorrow most things will be aligned and I am going to be able to do that but I'm also having a discussion on this book I'm buddy reading this with Transkai Meg we are reading up to the halfway point so tomorrow I'm having a discussion with her. Luckily this one has images in between. The font is quite huge. And um, we're discussing tomorrow. I'm just trying to find the halfway point. Because it's also not a long book. It's like 200 and something pages long. I just want to find. It's 260 pages long. So the halfway point is 130. And I think I'm going to start on that now. So that... I am ready for that so i think we'll go to the end of this chapter which puts us on 133 so that's lenny kravitz um with david ritz late love rule in case you guys didn't see that and yeah so that's what i'm gonna do now while the load shedding is happening and um i did take off my nails because i did start feeling very awkward i had started working on them but load shedding like i'm saying i did also do my toes i'm not happy with how they came out but they're not bad it's just that i hardly do gel on my toes so um i don't know i need more practice i feel but anyway let me not ramble enough while reading dust i haven't had a just i want to show you guys my eyes i am wearing a very short skirt um while reading dust i haven't taken down as many notes as i usually do it is fascinating me no doubt the book is really very well crafted very well written um very eerie in a very strange way but i'm really enjoying it it's just that i can't collect my thoughts around what or how to articulate what i want to say about it so i think at the halfway point though i want to gather my thoughts so far so that i can conclude that so i'm just starting a new page on my this is my journal this year in case you guys wondered i did show you a flip through of my previous two years journal um yeah i think so i'll link it up here if if yeah i did i'll link it up here for you guys 
so I have so far read 10 books this year if you can see that and so far it looks like I can read five books a month which would be the real dream because I'm aiming for 40 books like low-key aiming for 40 books this year but if I can hit that 50 girl please girl please so anyway i am trying to um slot in a page for let love rule and especially because it's gonna be a discussion sorry especially because it's going to be a discussion with someone else i need to take the notes and because i am reading other books i don't want to what's this i don't want to miss any important talking points if you get what I mean okay let's do the same thing Thank you.
Uh, teacher? Yeah. Teacher, let's say home. Teacher, let's say home. Let's say home. Hi, Mr. Cam. Mr. Camera. What are you guys up to? To 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 play the adventures. Playing adventures. Yeah. No, Avengers. we played a world superheroes. <coughs> and hi. They can't see it. Move back. Move back. back. Hi. What's that? It's Lego a mom. It's a Lego mom. No, it's a Lego sister. But the other one, but the other one is this Lego sister. But that one looks like kind of a Lego mom. Okay, guys.
Let me feel the bicycle. Try to have people's food. It is Monday. Like I said, I have the day off, guys. And I'm feeling so hot. I've been having one of those lazy days in and out of bed. I haven't been sleeping though because the kids are up. Can't sleep. So I thought I'd update you guys. I am halfway through Let Love Rule by Kenny. Kenny, wow. Well, by Lady Credit. And um, so far, so good. I am having. Lord, guys, load shading again. I'm so tired of this. I thought they said it ended yesterday. I'm just so tired, honestly. Okay. Well, that's that, I guess. Anyway, so I am halfway through this book. I am having a discussion with. How is it going to work? So, so over it. I'm having a discussion with Trans Guy Meg at five. We said five because I didn't know that there would be low shading during that time. I'm still gonna try and make sure that I do five. I'll just have to figure out a way. I'm um, hopefully um. Because I'll be cut off Wi-Fi, hopefully there's still a bit of data on my phone. But anyway, let me not ramble. So far, so good. I'll give final thoughts on my wrap-up. But this one was an easy one. It didn't take me long at all to get to the halfway point. And as soon as we're done talking, I'm going to finish the rest of the book. Because I don't like books that linger, especially if it's books that are not so deep. So that's the update on the Lenny Kravitz book. Um, Dust, I haven't picked up since that day. Um... And the danger with that is that if I don't pick it up again, it's going to be one of those. And I don't want to DNF it. I'm wondering if I should pick this up now or if I should continue with... I've got options, okay? This is my problem. I didn't want a shorter book so that I can complete one book this weekend. So, okay. So I did wonder if I should put dust up or if I should pick up red ink. Looks like it's one that I would be able to finish um, fairly quickly. If I don't pick dust up today, at any point, I am going to read it throughout the course of the rest of the week because I do want to finish it before the long week and next weekend where I want to consume new content altogether. So I did pick up the Essex Girls um, because of its shortness and the writing is also very thick. So it will be a fly through. I might pick that one up actually. So it's first first option i also picked up hear me alone by tandem colors and i'm co-reading this or buddy reading it with um fancy fence and um it is also a short one which is why i picked it up i did sample it over the holiday i just didn't get to it it's 131 pages long um i did sample it it's quite interesting the premise is very interesting for me and I, like i said i never read anything from tando and from what i saw in the first few pages that i did manage to read i'm intrigued so i do want to open that soon so if i don't pick that one up it will be for next weekend and then I also i wanted to pick up either this um home going by Yajasi or the death the, the or the death of vivek orgy I ended up picking up home going because I do want to get to Transcendent Kingdom at least by May. So if I can finish this this month, then I can get to Transcendent Kingdom next month. But anyway, this is the reason why this one is also an option. So by the look of things, these two I'm going to put by my bedside. I don't think I'm going to open them. I think my options are here. So the chances are I'm going to pick this one up because this, like I'm saying, this one is a buddy read and um definitely picking this one up so i think i'll start with this one because it's gonna be a breeze and then i'll follow up with this one and then i don't think i'll be able to read anything else today i still want to do a bit of editing i did pre-shoot some content for you guys uh, the week before i went on holiday and um i just didn't get around to putting it up because stress of packing for three people and preparing for a getaway was just too much for me so i want to be able to give you content regularly this week so i want to be able to give you content on monday and on wednesday and this vlog will probably go up on friday i plan to vlog again 
over the next weekend because I want it to be a reading weekend. I think the kids might have a play date, but I'm not 100% certain with that one. So we will have to see. But let me not ramble. Let me read and get over this load shedding announcement. I'm so annoyed. So annoyed. But that said, you know what? Moving into this space has actually been a game changer for me it's been a lifesaver if i must be honest um and during load shading i can easily easily not easily during load shading i can cook i can go about my business um i think what i'll do during load shading is that i'll i'll bath my kids because we've been having a lazy day i did take up the geezer and yeah the water is still warm so i'll do that and i'll be able to um what's this cook as well if I want to, because my meal won't be that hectic, I can also cook it um, just after load shedding. I've got the lights, those LED lights, so I'll be able to do a few things during that time. Or maybe I'll just continue to read. Depends how I feel. Because it's not going to be as dark. We shall see. I do want to touch base. I do want to touch base with my son, though, about school because they're going back to school tomorrow. So that's part of the plan. And you think that my day is long? No, it isn't. We are well into the afternoon. We are at three o'clock. Three o'clock in the afternoon. Anyway, let me not run. <sighs> I learned the hard way, by the way, to always pull off my desk. What desk? My dust jackets from my books when I'm reading them, the hardcover ones because girl these things can get damaged and for me this is the book cover and no one wants to damage their book covers so there's that and yeah that's what the spine looks like if you guys can see which is quite cute as well i like it let's see what sarah perry has to say but first the trusted the one the own okay i'm being dramatic guys wrap up the vlog here a uh, reason being that i got distracted and i started doing other things i couldn't have the chat with meg because of the um electricity issue and she also was suspecting that she would have the same problem the same problem where she is so we've moved that up but i finished this i think i'll be reviewing this on my blog vuvuvenereads.com um very soon uh, like I said, I was halfway through this. So these are the books that I touched during this vlog. I'm halfway through this and that's what we'll be discussing with Meg when we discuss it and then I'll pick it up. I hope to finish it during this week. And I have this book of poems by my bedside. I'm not rushing through them because there's quite great classics on this one. Um, while I was away, I did... <coughs> sorry. While I was away, I did read Samuel Taylor Coleridge's Kubla Khan or a vision in a dream a fragment and I remember doing that one at school but um, it always helps to reread uh, literature or pieces of literature that you read while you were younger because they have a different meaning when you are older but I'm not trying to rush through this one like I'm saying it's got quite good poems classics and um, yeah I'm keeping it by my bedside I also did open dust during this vlog but i did not oh i did open dust during this vlog but i didn't complete it so for next week i am hoping sorry guys oh that's why i'm distracted so i finally opened my copy of 
new daughters of africa i'm just at the introduction because i think that a collection of this sort does need you to to get an understanding of the curator's thinking before you delve into it but it's I guess it's neither here nor there but i'm really curious about that kind of stuff especially when i'm reading collections just like with the poetry book i had to read the introduction to this just to wrap my mind around what the concept there was so i am on the introduction but i did finally pick it up because it was bugging me that i've had it for such a long time and i hadn't found time to pick it up but like i'm saying i haven't opened any short stories yet i'm just reading the the intro for now and maybe during the course of the week as bedtime reading because i'm trying to wean myself off um watching series before bed and um actually doing light reading instead so bedtime reading means two to three pages maybe of reading thing well depending on what the story is and how i'm feeling but let me not ramble so i just wanted to show you guys the books that i did touch during this um vlog and the book that was finished is the essex girls by sarah perry and like i'm saying i am going to review that one on the blog soon otherwise i think i'll end the vlog here and resume my parenting duties before school tomorrow and before i get back to work just get myself back into the rhythm of things and yeah that's the kind of evening that i'm gonna have so there will be no further reading which is why i'm ending the vlog here but thank you so very much for joining me for this vlog. I really do appreciate you using your time, your data, like I always say, to spend some time with me. I hope it was worth your while. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I love you very much for choosing me. Bye now.